If you're gonna do an action film, learn about martial arts. Uh, you know, learn about you know different types of tactics. If it has anything tactical with regards to law enforcement and military, you know, oftentimes people just go at it half cocked, and they try to you know put out a representation of what they think it is rather than what it really is. Um, and also with regards to to having that crew, that community. Um, a good example of that is Adam Sandler in his films. If you notice, he typically uses the same group of people. Why? Because he understands the chemistry that already exists and why reinvent the wheel. So he goes with what works. Um, in, in addition to that, um, just, just keep in mind that, and never lose sight of this, there is no film in the business of film. There's no film in the business of film. So you gotta make that distinction right away. Because if you get too caught up in the artistic portion and ignore the business portion, your film may be good, but it's only gonna stay where it's gonna stay. It's not gonna go any further. Remember, artwork or art is meant to be shared. It's meant to be seen. Um, it's meant to be enjoyed by everyone. And you know, when everyone is uh, in a position where they're sharing that dramatic convention where they're enjoying a film, any political, social, racial, or, or identity differences, those just fizzle out because all they care about is that film, what they're watching, okay? Keep that in mind with the artistic portion. When it comes to the business portion, you gotta think about the distribution. You gotta think about your costs, your overhead, how you're gonna pay your actors, your crew. You gotta think about, you know, down the line, you know, what is the purpose of this? Is this just to gain me some exposure so I can use the money from that film and the proceeds from that to make an even bigger and better film? Um, also keep in mind, is this gonna be like a legacy film where you make this one, it's real good, and you're planning sequels down the line? So these are all things that you really, really need to keep in mind when you're in this business. And above all, make connections. Get to know people everywhere. This is not something that you can do alone. It's impossible to go at it alone. You need people. You need people not just locally, but everywhere. You may even have to go outside of the borders, you know, the confines of South Carolina to find what you're looking for. But once you have that crew, try to maintain that same crew. And you will find when you get those puzzle pieces together, and you develop that special sauce, that formula, it's gonna work for you and that's how you're gonna experience that growth.